Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we are making these super awesome crochet hot pads. These hot pads work up in a snap. They're great. You can also use them as placemats if you wanted, and they are like the big brother or big sister to our super fast crochet coasters. So I just used the regular natural cotton. It's a size three thickness. I'll put a link in the description box below. It's from Ice Yarns. Really soft and squishy, and just in these three colors with the white accent, you can pick any color you want, and I also am using a 3.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. We're gonna start by making a slip knot. So you can make a slip knot any which way. We don't need much of a tail. We're gonna work over it and cut it off, so just maybe like two inches will be fine. So just make a slip knot. I just wrap it around two fingers and then poke the working yarn underneath that loop on the back of my fingers and pull it down. Shrink it and put it on my hook. So chain four. Grab your yarn and just bring it through. One, two, three, and four. So now we're gonna slip stitch to the first V that we made. So when you're counting your stitches, you don't count what's on your hook and you don't count your little knot. You just count these Vs. So there's one, two, three, and four. We're just gonna go into that first V that we made, this first chain. So just poke your hook in. You just need one strand of that stitch on your hook. Now you have a little U shape, so I just poke my finger in the center of that U. I wanna hold my center of my circle open. Grab your yarn and bring it through both of those loops to make a slip stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, and four, and I'm still holding the center of that ring open. Wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into the center of that ring. So just push your hook in right where you're holding it open, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. Chain one, we need to make 11 double crochets with a chain one in between, and we're making them all into the center of that ring. So wrap your yarn, go into the ring, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, and chain one. So this is what it looks like in slow motion. Keep going, that was one, two, three, four double crochets. Our chain counts as a double crochet, so that counts as five. We need a total of 12. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to make seven more. So double crochet with a chain one. Double crochet with a chain one. If you run out of room, just grab your chain where you started and grab your stitches and just pull them apart. That will wiggle this ring out a little bit so you have more room to put your double crochets. So double crochet with a chain one all the way around. You have to do it 11 times, a total of 12, including that chain. So there's my last double crochet. Don't forget to do your chain one. And now we're gonna slip stitch to our chain to join. So we're gonna slip stitch to the third chain. So we're gonna count these Vs. There's one at the very bottom there. So there's one, two, and three. So we're just gonna go into this stitch right there. We wanna get two loops of that stitch on our hook. So push your hook in, two loops of that stitch on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, turn your hook and bring it through. So that's a slip stitch. And now we need to slip stitch over into this next space. So just on the other side, in between those posts of those double crochets, we just have to go right in there. So just push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, turn your hook and bring it through. So now we're ready to work straight from that space. Chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. This will also count as your first double crochet. And for our second round, we're gonna put two double crochets into each of these spaces going all the way around. So this chain counts as our first double crochet. So wrap your yarn and into the very same space, make one more double crochet, chain one, and into the next space, two double crochets, 
one and two, chain one, into the next space, two double crochets, one and two, and keep going around like this. Remember to do a chain one in between your sets of double crochets. All the way around, two double crochets with a chain one into each of these spaces, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. So I've made two double crochets into the last space, so chain one, and we're gonna slip stitch to the third chain to join. So there's our first one right at the bottom, that small V, two and three. So we're just gonna go into this stitch here, getting two loops of that stitch on our hook. So push your hook in, two loops of yarn on your hook, grab your yarn, bring it through, and bring it through. Now we have to slip stitch over again to the next space. So slip stitch into the next stitch. We just have to work our way over. You want to do this loosely. You don't want to have tight uh, slip stitches. And now into the space, slip stitch. There we are. So we're ready to work from that space now. And chain three to get your height. One, two, and three. And this is our third row. So one, two, this is our third round. So two double crochets into that space. Our chain three counts as one double crochet. So for our third round, we're doing three double crochets with a chain one into each of these spaces. So there's our three double crochets. Chain one, wrap your yarn, and three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. So make three double crochets with a chain one into each of these spaces going all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, remember to do your chain one. You can see I did not do my chain one because there's two loops of yarn underneath my hook. If you do a chain, there will only be one loop of yarn underneath your hook. So that's how you can just tell if you did it or not. Now I've done it, so we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And remember, because we slip stitched over, there is a V hiding underneath that slip stitch. So really it kinda looks like the chain two right now. If I pull it all back, you can see there is a V underneath there. Very small little V. So there's one, two, and three. So we're gonna go into this third chain, and you're just gonna push your hook in. You need two loops of that stitch on your hook. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, turn your hook to slip stitch, and now we're gonna slip stitch over to this space over here. So we have to slip stitch into this stitch, that stitch, and then into the space. So three slip stitches. And I just go into this back loop, just making a loose slip stitch. There's two. And here's my third one to get me right into that space. So then it looks very similar to the rest of the stitches. Chain three to get your height, one, two, and three. And this is the fourth round, so we're gonna do four double crochets into each of these spaces with a chain one in between, going all the way around. And our chain counts as our first double crochet, so we're gonna do three double crochets into this very first space. There's one, two, and three, and then that counts as four. Chain one, and into each space going around, four double crochets. So here's one, two, three, four, chain one, and now keep going four double crochets with a chain one into each space going all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the join. Remember to do your chain one, and now we're gonna slip stitch we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So remember, one of your chains is hiding underneath there. So it looks like the top of the chain two. Just get your hook in, and remember you need two loops of that stitch on your hook. So push your hook into the V, two loops, slip stitch to join, and then slip stitch over. So now we have to do three slip stitches and one more into the space. So we have to do four slip stitches. One, two, three, 
and now into the space for number four. Chain three to get your height, one, two, and three. And now it's our fifth row, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna do five double crochets into each of these spaces going all the way around. We need to put in 12 extra stitches per round. So that's how we're working it out. There's 12 of these shells or 12 sets of double crochets. So each set gets one more double crochet per round for this round. So our chain counts. So we need four more double crochets into that very first space. One, two, three, and four. So that counts as five with our chain three. Chain one and five double crochets into the next space and every space around separated by a chain one. So here is three, four, and five. Chain one, and now keep building this set of double crochets, five double crochets with a chain one, into each of these spaces going all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to the join. Remember to do your chain one, and now again we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the chain three, but our first chain is down there hiding. So one, two, and three, two loops of that stitch on your hook, slip stitch to join, and now slip stitch over. So one slip stitch into each stitch, going all the way over to the next space. So now into the space, slip stitch, chain three, one, two, and three. And now our pattern changes a little bit because if you look at your circle, it's kind of starting to get a little bit lumpy, a little big in the corners here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump down to doing sets of three. So two double crochets into the space for three, a total of three. Chain one, there's always a chain one in between everything in this pattern. Wrap your yarn and we're gonna go in to the third double crochet. So this is the first, second, and third. It's basically the center of this set of double crochets, this one here. So we're gonna go in to that stitch and make three double crochets into that stitch. One, two, and three, chain one into the space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain one, and now into the center double crochet, this one right here, and three double crochets into the center double crochet down there. We're still adding our 12 stitches, but we're just breaking it up so our circle will be more smooth and easier to work with. Chain one, three, double crochet into the space. Chain one, and three double crochets into that center stitch. So keep doing this all the way around, three double crochets into the stitch, chain one, three double crochets into the space, chain one, all the way around, and I'll meet you at the join. We're gonna do the same thing into that into our last set that we slip stitched into. So just go down and I'm gonna go right underneath that loop. I'm gonna grab it from under here. So I'm gonna pull up that loop and make our stitches right down in there. Not the end of the world if you do it a different way. This is just how I do it. So it looks more similar to the rest of them. So there's two, here is three, chain one, and we're gonna slip stitch to the top of this chain three, so one, two, and three. We're just gonna push our hook in, two loops of that stitch on our hook, bring our yarn through, bring our yarn through, and we're gonna slip stitch over again. So into the next stitch, slip stitch, and again, slip stitch, and then into the space, slip stitch. 
chain three, one, two, and three. And now for this row, we're gonna alternate between, because we can only put 12 extra stitches in, and now we have 24 of these little clusters, so every other cluster can get one extra stitch. So we're gonna go start just by doing our small shell, which is gonna be two double crochets with a chain three. So this counts as our first three double crochets, chain one, and into the next space, we're gonna do four double crochets. This is gonna be our increase. So two, three, and four. Chain one, and now our small shell, so just three, so we're not increasing for this one. One, two, and three. Chain one, into the next space, we'll do a big shell, so we'll do our increase, which is four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Chain one. So keep going around, alternating between doing a small shell of three double crochets, chain one, and a big shell, four double crochets, chain one. So three, four, three, four, all the way around, one into, all the way around into each of these spaces, alternating between a big shell and a small shell, and I'll meet you when you get back to the join. Remember to do your chain one and slip stitch to join. So top of the chain three, two loops of that stitch on your hook, and bring it through and bring it through, and slip stitch over to the next space. One, two, and three is into the space. Chain three to get your height, one, two, three. So now for this round, we're gonna do four double crochets into each space. You remember from the last round, we alternated doing four, three, four, three, four, three, all the way around. So this round, we're gonna increase by doing four, 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 four. So finally, no thinking for this round, three double crochets into the first space because your chain three counts as your first double crochet. There's two and here is three. So that counts as our first four double crochets. Chain one and four double crochets into each space going all the way around. Three and four. Chain one. So keep going all the way around doing four double crochets in, with a chain one into each space and I'll meet you when you get back to the join. So this is as big as our mat is gonna be, but you can make yours as big as you like. Just keep increasing in the same way. Slip stitch to join, top of that chain three, two loops of that stitch on your hook. Slip stitch, chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. It's the 12 days of Christmas giveaway time. Today's winner will be receiving this lovely ball of Lorena print. It is 50% acrylic and 50% cotton. It's super squishy and woven so wonderfully it won't split. Super great for garments, scarves, anything you wanna wear. It's so wonderful. And a four millimeter tulip crochet hook. What do you have to do to win? First of all, you need to be a subscriber. So hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell beside that. And then leave a comment in the comments box below answering the question, which is, what are your go-to stocking stuffers? What do you put in stockings if you celebrate Christmas? Or what are your favorite small little gifts to give as stocking stuffers if you did celebrate Christmas? I'm always looking for stocking stuffer ideas and I'd love to hear your tips and tricks. So leave that in the comments box below. Thank you so much for being part of this community and enjoying the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway with me. I had such a blast doing it. I can't wait to pick the winners. We'll be announcing on December 24th the 12 lucky winners. I'm so excited. Have a super great day, good luck, and Merry Christmas. You just want them to pretty much be the size of that would fit underneath a pot, and they're also gonna get bigger. These are the same size. So you can see how this one looks so much bigger than that one, but it's just the edging that we're putting on next. I'm just gonna put my hook into the top of this first double crochet, any first double crochet. Just the one right after the space. Just, it makes an easier join, or a more of a hiding join. Loop of yarn on your hook, 
bring your hook through, slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail, we're just going to work over it, so hold it along the top of your work or along the back side. Chain one, this is going to count as your first single crochet. Into the next stitch we're going to go right in, so two loops of that V on your hook into each of these stitches, one single crochet. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. So for single crochet, no wrapping your yarn first. You just go straight in and into each space we're just going to do one single crochet. So one cr single crochet into the space and one into each stitch going all the way around. You can drop your tail and then work it back later with a needle. So one single crochet into the space and one into each stitch going all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. So go into that last space, one single crochet and now we're just going to slip stitch straight in, not this one over here, not our first actual real single crochet, so not there. I'm just going to go into this kind of hot mess right there, our chain, and just kind of pull it over with a slip stitch. So push your hook in. You could use your finger to scoop some yarn onto your hook. Slip stitch and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, hook up, and yarn through and snug that down to secure. So put your hook into any stitch. You just want to go underneath that V. You want two strands of that V on your hook. Loop of yarn on your hook. I leave enough to sew in, so probably about five inches. Pull your hook through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail. We're going to work over it again. Chain one. That counts as your first single crochet. And a one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. Nothing different for this round. It's super simple. So one single crochet into each stitch, working over your tail a little bit, then you can drop your tail and we can work it back with a needle when we are finished. So one single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you back at the join. When you get back to where you joined, just push your hook in to that chain. You just want to get some yarn on your hook slip stitch to join, chain three, one, two, three, skip a stitch, so our first stitch is right here, so we're going to skip, we're going to work into the second stitch, which is over there. So into the second stitch, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, Skip a stitch into the second stitch, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three. Into the second stitch, a single crochet, chain three, skip one, into the second stitch, single crochet, and this is what you're going to do all the way around, chain three, skip one, single crochet to pin it down. You're going to go around making all these loops all the way around, and I'll meet you at the join. One, two, three, and then just slip stitch over to where you started your chain. Slip stitch, chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. Mom. Now we just weave in our ends. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and comment in the comments. I'd love to hear what your colors are or see them if you're on Instagram. You can tag me at Secret Yarnery or also on our Facebook group, the Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. Love to have you join us over there so I can see your hot pads and see how yours turned out. I'd love to see your colors. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, just hit the subscribe button below. We upload new videos weekdays at 6 p.m. Central Time, and we'd love to have you join us. Have a super great day and stay hooked.